In Judaism, we observe the Sabbath. But that means that from sundown on Friday until sundown on Saturday, we come to rest. We don't drive, we don't use electricity, we don't work on our jobs. You're interacting with other people. It's not about what you don't do, but it's what you give yourself the time to do and to experience. So, what do we gotta do when we get home? Cooking, cleaning. Yeah, I, I gotta do some homework. What's that noise? Um... Car feels really weird. So Vicky and I are rushing back home so that we can start getting ready for Shabbos. And all of a sudden, the car starts doing something very strange. Oh, oh my god, Ben, what the hell? Uh... I asked Ben what's going on. He's not telling me. But I know that his car is just breaking down right before Shabbat on a Friday afternoon. I'm getting nauseous. Ben, there's obviously something wrong. Can you just pull over somewhere? This is not feeling really good. Oh my god. OK, just stop, stop, just stop. Can't believe this is happening again. I'm sick and tired of this car. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm so frustrated because I've been telling Ben we need a new car, and I don't know if Ben really doesn't see that or if he's just being stubborn. I just see this as a car which should continue to be used until it is rendered useless. I just don't understand why that's so much to ask for. I really don't. I really don't. Yeah, I, I don't really feel safe driving, so I was wondering if you guys could give me a tow. Yeah, do you, do you know how long that would be? Great, I'll see you. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. OK, they said they could be here in, like, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Oh my God. We'll have to wait for them. If we don't get home before night, we'll have to walk home. This whole situation isn't just annoying, it's dangerous. Uh, you guys have any place to go? Yeah. Hey, yes. Are you able to take us somewhere? Yeah, that's no problem. I just make your tour door and that's it. Sure, right. great. Thanks. I really hope the situation helps Ben to see my side of things. Ben loves to save money anywhere that he can, but I'm not sure he gets it. Sometimes trying to spend the least amount of money possible can actually end up costing a lot more money. I'm just looking forward to all the adventures, all the cooking that you're going to be doing and cleaning and everything. Do you see the word maid tattooed across my forehead? Because I'm pretty sure the status is wifey. I can't do it all myself.